Agora para voar. Se você está vendo, agora você vai ver que aqui é a diferença de regular shapes. As you can see, it's a grade 6 geometry worksheet. So it says perimeter and area. So um, how we got this done? Should I just find the perimeter for all first and then we look at the area to make a lot of sense. Alright. So we're gonna look at perimeter and look, just ignore the numbers one, three, and five. Just we're gonna do it across one, two, and down, but we're gonna do it across. We're gonna go by row, alright? So we look at the perimeter. Right? Again, guys, you are encouraged to go ahead and try before you click on the solution. Oh, by the way, guys, hit the like button, hit the like button. Now, David, man, hit the like button. All right, so this might look a little bit complex, but it can be very simple. You know? um, technically, if you look at it, it says find a perimeter, even though this part is look like it cut out. All right, if we should say, Think about it. If we should extend the line, right? This entire side will be 24, right? And we have to go, we have to go measure that side. After we stop here, so we still go from over here, so. So this side at 24, see you know. Right, and then right all of this at 18 CMO. So in, even though it cut out, not not change both. So a perimeter will be I'm gonna call it perimeter P. It'll be 24 plus 18 times 2 because a 2 at each side of it. You know what? I'm right it out because some students can forget it sometimes. Alright, so let's add up this. Um, by the way, 24 plus 24 is 48, 89, 18, 36, so 48 plus 48 plus 36. That's 84. So this would be 84 centimeters. All right, same thing for this. All of this is 29. So if we should extend the line here, it should still be 29. Now we stop here, so or we continue up here, so all of these are still 29. Now we, these are 24, these are 10. All of these are still 24. I was still, still go down, no, so. So I'm an can of peeps, so I'm an All right, we'll add 24. So it will be 24. Remember, it's the total distance around, right? It's the total distance around. So it's still 24. Plus 24. Add that, that will be the perimeter. All right? But this is uh, the perimeter. One oh six six one hundred and six centimeters. Let's say that one new way one is all of these are 32. And here's the years are 19. So we just want the balance, but just nevertheless, keep my style, alright? Still 32. That's how you look for it. And the side here are still 26. So 26 and 26 are 52. 52 plus 64. And 
this is a verb and such. So I'm going to use the letter P and present it. So 4 and 2, 6. 6 and 5, 11. So that's 160 of the verb. Right? And so we're going to find it here. You know? Guys, I know sometimes we chop it up as a but. I show my students a simple style and they were saying, sir, you know, say I want to do it just to see it. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you in on a little secret or oh, easy this is, alright? So I already extended the line and all that. So just focus on the big triangle, right? So we're gonna focus on the big pivot triangle, big rectangle. So if we should focus on the big rectangle. As we are trying to find the area of this portion right here. Just get that clear. However, we don't have to split up nothing. We can simply find the area for the big rectangle and then find the area for this portion here and subtract it out and we get the remainder in. So the area for the big rectangle will be 24 times 18. And that is much easier then to cut it up and something and do them part part and add them. So we can actually do it and subtract. So it would be 24 times 80. But that's not the answer. So that's 432. But 432 represents all of it. And then we have this rectangle here with chapel. So it would be 7 times 9, that's 63. So minus 63 from this, and that will be our answer. So, guys, you guys don't have a post your brain and say, oh, from here so to here, so this, and that, and that, and that, to be 369. It didn't give us a unit. So, I don't know how we can find here. Whatever unit it is, 369 square. How do you see a thing for this? Right? It will be 29, 29 times 24. Uh, this is 29, this is 24. I'm going to check on the calculator. I'm going to check on the So it will be 29. Times 24, and this portion here will be 10 times 4, right? No, 14 times 10. So this is 24 minus 14 times 10. So equal to 1 part. Alright, so it's 29. Times 24, that's equal to 696 minus 140, which is smaller rectangle that was cut out, a portion here. All right, so we're searching for all of this. So that will give us what? Zero, take off. And um, six take away zero would be six, nine take away four would be five, and that would give us five. Now. Right. Let's find the area for this one now. See your procedure 26 times 32. Let me see if we have more space. It will be 26 times 32. Let's go to minus the other portion. So all them cut out of it. Out of the rectangle. 10 by 19. So that's 10 by 19. So that's a one line. Hope you guys understand what I'm doing basically. Just find the area for the big rectangle. And then part of them cut out, subtract that out. So it's 832. And 
minus 190. And we get a grand total. So 832 minus 190 gives us 642. I didn't give you a unit, so whatever unit it is, a square, right? So 642 square units. All right, let's look at this one now. Same principle, same L business. Right? All of these are 22. And guys, if we reason it out, all of these are 60. I don't understand when they draw the diagram. You know, the diagram just draw open. Like, the measurement them as where I'm supposed to be. You know, say so this side is 60. Why well, don't put it on the outside? And this side, um, it's probably 11. Or 11 run across. So, so this is 7. And if this is 16, what do you do all the way for the word to set here? What kind of put in the measurement there? So 16, so right here, so it would be 9. Because all of this is 16. So if this is 7 and 9 make 16, so here's a 9 and blah, blah, blah. All right, all of this is 22 and this is 11. So it means this portion would be 11. Put it away. I can add up all of them numbers here now. This is 22. Yeah. Right here, so I have it. There's no need to make 22. So we go back to this here to the way I do same AMT. Alright, so 9 and 7 is 16. 16 and 16 is 32. And then now there's 9 and 22, and that will be 44. Alright, guys, I just want to do it as a top of our space. So the perimeter. Would be six seventy six centimeters. That's about centimeter seventy six, whatever. All right, let's look at the area now. So we can draw one. Look at the look at the other way. Now the shark the eleven. Cut the two triangles there and add them up, right? Two rectangles and keep saying triangle. So this would be 22, the length are 22, and this are 9. nine. So you have to be very careful, right? 16 is actually the outer so. I want to end it then. Why would you put it there? Alright. So all of this go right up at 16. We'll stop at 9, so it will be 9 times 22. Which is to call a rectangle with an A and this one B. Right? So rectangle A would be 22 times 9 plus this one now, right here, so is 7 and this would be 11. So it's 7 times 11. Let's see if we have more space. And this would be 77. 19 is 18. 8 times 1. 19 is 18. And 1 is 19. So it will be 198 plus 77. Is equal to two seventy five. Two seventy five. Whatever square units. Right, let's go again. Easy way this time. Fifteen. Microsoft fifteen. 
right? So I'll go right across, even though I'll press it. I'll call myself, I'll call myself so you get it to see on your And then this will be 17. So 15 and 15, 30. 17 and 17, 17 is 40, so that's a 34. So this gives us 16. Here I know. 15 times 17. Minus 9 times 7. I'm not going to do the last one, right? I'm going to ask you guys to do that. All right? Leave it in the comment section. Definitely going to check it out. Let's see if you guys are getting the principle and all that. So this will be 255 minus 9 times 7, which is 63. And that will be our answer. After we subtract, so we get 192 square units. All right, guys, so this is the end of the video. You guys are supposed to do number six. The dimensions are 31, 32, let's call it 20 and 19. Find the perimeter, total distance around, and the area. All right, this is Mr. Bennett. Hit that like button, guys. Appreciate you all. I'm out, no doubt. See you guys in another video. Get some sleep, no guys. I'm so tired, man.